Hi fourth graders and welcome to Flex Wednesday. Today we're going to review adding fractions and adding mixed numbers when they have a like denominator. But before we do that, let's start with a warm up. On your whiteboards, I want you to decompose 8 twelfths in more than one way into a sum of fractions with the same denominator. Show me two different ways that you can decompose 8 twelfths. Pause the video and when you're ready, press play. Welcome back. So when decomposing 8 twelfths, I could do it in a few different ways. I could first look at it by its unit fractions. Remember, a unit fraction is a fraction with a 1 in the numerator. If I broke up 8 twelfths into unit fractions, my answer would look like this. 1 twelfth plus 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 1 twelfth and plus 1 more twelfth would get me my unit fractions of 8 twelfths. But that's not the only way I could decompose 8 twelfths. I could also do something like this. 6 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. I know that 6 plus 2 equals 8, and my denominator wouldn't change when I'm adding fractions. So 6 twelfths plus 2 twelfths would be one way to decompose 8 twelfths. Nice work. So we did a lot of work last week with adding fractions. Let's do a review. The park department wants to have new trees planted. They agree that one-tenth of the trees will be oak, three-tenths will be pine, and two-tenths will be willow. They are undecided about the rest. What fraction of the trees will be oak, willow, or pine? Okay, so looking at this problem, I know it's asking me to add my fractions together because it's asking what fraction will be oak, willow, or pine all together. So my equation would look like this. One-tenth plus three-tenths plus two-tenths would get me my answer. When I'm adding fractions with the same denominator, I want to remind you, your denominator will not change. It will always stay tenths because all your other equations, all your other numbers are tenths as well. What you do need to worry about is adding your numerators. So I need to add one plus three plus two. I know all together that's going to give me six. So six tenths of the parks will be pine, willow, and oak. Now let's try a word story problem that involves mixed numbers. The art class had a box filled with balls of yarn. The students used six and two-third balls for a project. There are now two and two-third balls left in the box. How many balls of yarn did the art class start with? Okay, so again, this problem is asking me to add. I know that we started with six and two-thirds, and there are now two and two-thirds. So how many did we start with? When I put my equation together, I know I have six and two-thirds plus two and two-thirds. Well, I always want to add my holes first. Six plus two is going to get me eight. Now I need to add my fractions. My denominator of three won't change, so I need to add two plus two for my numerator. That would get me four thirds. So that's one way I can show this answer. But if I look at this fraction, four thirds, this is what I call an improper fraction. And it's improper because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I'm gonna change that into a mixed number. I know that if I have four thirds, that would be equal to one whole third and one third left over. So I'm going to add this one and one third to my total eight here to get an answer of one, nine and one third. Nine and one third would be the same as eight and four thirds, but it shows it in a mixed number instead of an improper fraction. All right, fourth graders, so let's practice. I want you to pause the video and on your whiteboards, I want you to solve. 6 tenths plus 7 tenths, and 2 and 3 twelfths plus 1 and 10 twelfths. When you're ready, press play. Welcome back. So 6 tenths plus 7 tenths. Well, when I added 6 plus 7, I know I got 13. So 13 tenths would be my answer. But as we said before, that's an improper fraction. So I'm gonna actually change that into one whole 
and 3 tenths. 1 whole and 3 tenths is equivalent to 13 tenths. Now let's move on to our mixed numbers. 2 and 3 twelfths plus 1 and 10 twelfths. Well, if I put my holes together first, I know I have 3 holes. And then 3 twelfths plus 10 twelfths gives me my answer of 13 twelfths. Again, an improper fraction. I'm going to change that into 4 holes and 1 twelfth. Nice work. So today, my friends, you're going to work on solving addition problems using fractions and mixed numbers. Push yourself to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number.